The first thing you're going to want to do is install the reclipped uh, notes extension from the Chrome Web Store. Once you have it installed, then I'm going to have you go visit the reclipped.com website and log in with the option to continue with Google and selecting your account. Your students can do the same thing. The reclipped website becomes like this repository of all the videos in which you have been taking notes. It's a quick access to getting back or retrieving those notes. Now, how to take notes with reclipped? What you're going to do is go and look for a video on YouTube and you're going to see that you have new tools available because you installed the extension. So when I find a video in which I want to take notes, I can create some summary notes by using this button. This button lets you create snippets, which is a different thing that will not be addressed in this tutorial. But if I click this pencil, it pops open this window over here. Notice I can toggle that open and close and it has the same pencil that triggers just like the pencil right down here. The first thing I might want to do is just kind of add a summary about the video itself. Notice there's a timestamp based on the time and where I am in the video so I can add my note about this particular spot in the video. As I'm watching the video and playing it along, if I want to trigger a new note, I need to click the pencil again in either spot and it creates a new timestamp so I can add an additional note. And again, as I'm watching the video, there isn't a timestamp until I click the pencil, but then I can add my notes. When I'm done with my notes, I want to be sure to save them so that they're available the next time I return. When I click save, I do want to make sure that it is set for only me. If it is set for public, anybody else who has this reclipped extension visits this particular video, they will see and read my notes. I'm going to make sure it says only me and I click save. Now what's nice is if I leave, hit pause here, if I leave this video and come back, this again extension is going to be here so I can just pop open and my notes will still be there for me. And then I can quickly get to those points in time of the video to quickly reflect back on my notes. If I need to edit them, I can click the pencil to make any changes and resave. Again, making sure it's set for only me. If I no longer need it, I can hit delete. If I want to share my notes with somebody else, there is a share button. I do need to toggle enable sharing so I can copy and paste and send this to somebody else. Another option for sharing is to export it as a PDF file that will download that you can share. Going back to that website, because it's my repository, if I hit refresh, oh, in fact, I didn't even need to hit refresh, here it is, my World War II video. So it's another way for me to quickly get to the video and my notes that I had created. When I access my videos through the um, reclipped website, rather than going back to YouTube, it still has the... Um, timestamps there and my notes there so it's another way for me to quickly review through my video. When I want to return back to my dashboard I can click on reclipped right here and I'm back to my dashboard that again contains the videos um, in which I have added reclipped notes.